Hello there everyone, Nicole from Nikki's Delicious Gels here. I'm going to be doing a CJS or Clear Jelly Stamper um, tutorial using this super cute hearts plate, uh, CJS V02, um, which is super cute, hence the name. And then um, this plate here, which is um let me get the name for you Licious Lips and Love CJSV01 So I just thought this would be a, a, a very fun um quirky Valentine's -y romantic um design that I want to do today so everything here, ladies, um, is CJS. The Leslie Nail Art Mat, which is this, is absolutely, I love this mat. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's real quality. Um, it sticks to any surface, so it's not going to be, you know, shifting up and down uh, across your your uh, table at all. Um, and then we've got the double-ended bling from CJS. And... This stamper is really good um, for your more delicate, um, your more delicate uh, images. Like, for example, um, on this plate, the super cute hearts. Um, where you know, if you just want to pick up one heart, for example, and you don't want to pick up the entire image, um, then this stamper is you know ideal for that. Then we've got the display unit. Okay. And this is also from CJS. It comes uh, with 10 replacement tips, but you can buy the replacement tips. I think it's 100 in a pack. And you can get the coffin, the long coffin, and the stiletto, okay, in these replacement tips. Um, I think I've just got the normal coffin here, but you can get the long coffin. Then we've got the 20 piece stamping polish set here. Um, this is really ideal um, to have. If you do a lot of stamping um, or you, you know, um, love nail art and stamping nail art particularly, this is the set to get, your first set. It's got everything that you need to start off with. Um, it's got your black, your white, it's got different shades of blue, pinks, greens, oranges, purples, red, etc. Um, I can't get enough of this. And the CJS stamping polishes are highly pigmented. I have cho I have actually used some other so-called stamping polishes. <coughs> and what I found, sorry, what I found is the pigmentation is very disappointing. Um, when you look at this tutorial, you will see just how pigmented um, the CJS stamping polishes are. Um, and the consistency is different. Uh, you can use it as a nail polish as well, um, although I don't. I only use it for stamping. Um, but you can. It really goes on super smooth, um, almost like a gel, but it's a, a stamping polish. So, yeah. Um, you get your scraper with your clear jelly stamper. So um, it's in the packaging and I've had it lots of times where clients throw their packaging away thinking that it's the design of the packaging, um, but it's normally on the side of your box. Um, so yeah, you, with every stamper you get a, a scraper, whether it's the double-ended bling or uh, the big bling jelly stamper. And I'm in love with the big bling jelly stamper. It works beautifully. Then we've also got the seven-piece metallic, um, which I'm going to be uh, using or incorporating in this design as well. Beautiful. It's got like a angelic white, um, metallic red, metallic green, uh, metallic blue, purple, silver, and gold. Um, they call this the Christmas set, um, but I just call it the seven-piece metallic because it's metallics. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm also going to show you how to outline with the metallics to really make your images pop. Um, 
And without further ado, we're going to carry on. And as I said, ladies, you can order any of the products that will be in this review today. Okay. Hello there, ladies. Okay, so this is uh, the tutorial I'm going to show you today. And what you will need is your double-ended bling or your big bling jelly stamper from CJ's. You will need angelic white, which is 034. You will need a metallic red, which is 063, and it's from the metallic seven-piece range, or the metallic 20 piece range um, or red 062 and this is from also the 20 piece range and then your black which is 001 okay so I just want to show you how super cute this is look how gorgeous that is I'm also going to show you I use the CJS stamping polish as nail polish here as you can see and I used a, a non-wipe gel top coat over it and look how beautiful it has come out okay so I'm just going to start with this tutorial today I'm going to be using um, this plate which is called Lipalicious uh, let me just get that um, Let me just get that name of that plate for you quickly. It is called Lipalicious and Love CJSV01. And this can be for any romantic occasion. It could be for Valentine's, of course. Um, or it could be, um, you know, for a wedding even. Or just, just to be a romantic, you know. Um, it's got... The couple here, it's got these super cute um, love birds. Um, it's got the words love, be mine, kisses, um, hugs and kisses, love, XOXO, XOXO. It's got little love swans here, making a little heart. And of course, my favorite, the lips, the very sexy lips and hearts, of course. So it's really a cute, fun plate. I had lots of fun doing this. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I want to show you how pigmented and how smooth the CJS stamping polishes apply on a nail. I've done one, so I'm just going to show you how to do it here. I just want to show you how smooth this polish applies. It's so smooth that you can literally, it feels like a gel, but it is a stamping polish. And that's one coat and look how opaque it is. No streaks and this is a metallic. How many of you have used metallic nail polishes and gotten streaks okay this is a metallic stamping polish which you can use as a regular nail polish which applies super smoothly okay so I'm just going to finish up here oh I want to show the white angelic one as well so this is the white angelic from CJS um, it's number 034 and I want to show you this. One coat. No streaks. Look at that. One coat, full coverage, no streaks. Look at the color pigmentation, ladies. I'll turn it around so you can see. Obviously, you can do two coats. I mean, that's totally up to you. But I've done one coat, and look how super smooth 
the application is. It's a nail polish which floats like a gel polish. That's the only way I can describe it. It's super gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just going to finish up here and then I'll be right back. Okay, ladies, so I've done all the pop sticks, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to top coat them now with AS non wipe top coat. So you wait until the nail polish or stamping polish is 100% dry and then you take your um, top coat and you just glide it over the stamping polish. This is also a really cool um, method if you're looking for a color and you don't have it perhaps in your gel polish range. Um, you can, you know, get it in your nail polish range um, and it'll last as long as a gel polish mani. I've done this many times when I haven't had, say, I don't know, a color in a gel polish, but I've got it in a stamping polish. Um, then I'll just use the stamping polish with you know two top coats over it two gel top coats over it and it works brilliantly just as well as if you were using a you know regular gel polish I only brush up on the popsicle because I find that the popsicle tends to gather at the free edge for some unknown reason um, it just seems to go a little bit bulky at the bottom so that's why I like to just brush up um, sometimes but you don't do that on on a on a regular nail um, you know on a proper person's hand you don't do that I'm just doing it on the pop stick LED lamp for 30 seconds um, and then I will be right back don't forget to obviously wrap the free edge and then I'll be right back okay so these are all cured 100% smooth and shiny as you can see just hold it up closer to the camera I'm loving this red as you all know my favorite color is red <laughs> okay so let's get started started ladies this is the fun part okay so I'm going to be using my double-ended bling today. Just going to touch it. Look how beautiful that bling the bling is. Gorgeous, eh? And all you do is you take it off. Ooh. Take it off. There's the bling. And there's the small little jelly stamp on the side. And then the slightly big one this side. Okay. And these work beautifully just show you look how squishy that is and it's got a very sticky layer to it as well just like the big bling um, and I absolutely love it ladies please don't prime your jelly stampers um, it, it will cause them to break down and over time you will have to replace it um, and you know the clear jelly stamper works beautifully um, but it's not cheap um, it really is a pristine product so you're going to you know you're going to get what you need out of this um, it's going to pick up beautifully every time it takes a little bit of practice and when I first got my clear jelly stamper products I needed to get used to the new medium of, of stamping because it really is a different medium of stamping okay um, forget about everything that you have learned with stamping because CJS is a different medium of stamping for example very light pressure is needed with the clear jelly stamper jelly stampers if you're going to I'm just going to show you quickly um, a famous mistake that a lot of you make is that you squish it down okay that is not the way to do it I will show you 
you simply take it and roll it over just using the weight of the jelly stamper. You don't have to put pressure on it. You don't have to squish it down. Um, none of that. Just the weight of the jelly stamper and there you go. Okay. So that's just 101. Now, your scraper. What I do with my scraper is I just take a buffer and sort of just do this because, you know, these are stamped so they can obviously um, be a little bit sharp on the edge and just to make it smooth around the edges here. Okay. Um, now, laying down the polish. So what we're going to do first, I think we'll do the lovebirds first. Um, which is this little image over here over here just excuse my nails ladies I haven't done them in six weeks <laughs> okay so this is the little lovebirds here which I'm going to do and I'm going to be using the angelic white for this one okay so you don't need a hell of a lot of polish but don't put too little either I put it all over the image like this as you can see and then I take my scraper hold my plate down and I scrape up okay then I take my jelly stamper and just want to move this out the way and roll over very little movement as you can see it picked up perfectly I just take the excess away um, I just do use my finger because it's easiest but just take the excess away like that and then just move the plate out of the way right now I want to obviously lay it down so I'm going to lay it down squishy squishy make sure that it gets to the edges and there we go perfect okay Clean your clear jelly stamper on a sticky lint-free roller or on the CJS sticky pad. Like I said, do not prime them. Do not put acetone to clean them off. I know that some nail techs do this, um, but it will break down the jelly stamper after a while and it'll start clouding and, yeah, it won't be cool. So... I've had my big bling jelly stamper for over a year, ladies. And yeah, it's, you know, it's getting there. There's a lot of wear and tear, as you can see. There's a lot of wear and tear. I've cracked it already. There's some marks on it. But look at the jelly stamper. It's still perfect. The actual jelly stamper is still perfect. And that is because I don't use any chemicals on them. I don't prime it. I don't use acetone. I don't use any harsh chemicals whatsoever. I just clean it off, off on a sticky lint roller. And there we go. And this one is perfect. I love this one. Um, it does come with another jelly stamper um, on request. They used to have these ones, um, which is your marshmallow jelly. It's very sticky. Um, and these are very good for obviously enlarging a um, image or making an image smaller. Um, I'll do a tutorial on that later, not today. Um, but now they come with a second clear jelly stamper, unless you request the marshmallow head, okay? Um, okay, so let's just clean this mess up and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're just going to do this little word here. I'm just going to move this out the way so we can actually see this word love here. Put lay down the polish. Take the scraper, hold the plate down and scrape up. Now you see those lines? A lot of you will now want to scrape and scrape. Don't worry about it. It's only going to pick up the word love. Okay, and I'll show you now. I'm just taking the excess off. See, perfect pickup. And now, 
I'm just going to, don't know if you can see, I'm just going to put the word love underneath the doves. Look how cute that looks, ladies. Okay. Okay, so I noticed that the other little heart I didn't get in. So I'm just going to do that little heart here. Um, and put that in as well. Again, scrape up in the opposite direction. Take a jelly stamper, roll it over, and then you've got a super cute tiny little heart. Sorry, I'm not sure if this is in focus. Okay, so I'm just going to put another little heart over there. Okay, so that's the first one done. Now we're going to do the lips. My favorite. I'm going to do the lips. And um, it's super sexy, fun really gorgeous effect okay and you're going to use 100% uh, 100% uh, acetone so that you don't you can't use regular nail polish remover eventually what will happen is the oils in the nail polish remover will start building up on your plate um, and then it will become increasingly um, difficult over time to pick up your images. Okay, so let's start with the lips, the luscious lips. Okay, just going to move this out the way here and move this in frame so we can see what I'm doing. Okay, again. Okay. Put it over the whole image. Take this end, the shorter end, hold the plate down and scrape up. Take my jelly stamper, roll it over. And there we got a perfect luscious lip. Beautiful. Okay, move this out the way, bring this here, and let's place it right at the corner at the top. And look how gorgeous that looks, ladies. Look how gorgeous that looks. Okay. Okay, lay the polish down. And like I said, ladies, use a liberal amount of um, polish. If you use too little, it's going to cause voids. If you scrape too hard, it's going to cause voids. So all you do is you lay your thing and then scrape. Lay your scraper and then scrape. It's not rocket science, but there is a knack to it. Roll over and take the excess off. And there you've got a beautiful luscious lip. Okay. Just want to move this out of the way. And lay it down. Oh, look how gorgeous that looks. Okay, ladies. So, so far we've got the luscious lips. We've got the love birds. And now we're going to do this super cute image over here with the couple. Okay. Um, I'm going to use black for this because it's like a silhouette of them. This black is so pigmented. I love it. Okay, see these lines there? Don't scrape more. Leave it. Those lines won't show up. Just 
just taken excess off and there are your two little love birds well not birds but people okay move this out the way here we go now we're going to place them on the edge and look how cute that is there we go okay so there's your people and what we're gonna put there is mm, oh okay let me just clean that up okay so now we're going to do this love here um, you don't need a lot of polish here at all um, just enough to sort of go into the image I'll have to do it again. That's perfect. Okay, this little piece here will come off. Okay, doesn't matter. All right. Now we are going to place the love at the top, just like that. Press down, hold a couple of seconds, and lift. And look how super cute that looks. Hey ladies, look how super cute that looks. Super cute. Okay, I'm just going to do... Um, the lips and the outline so you can see how that looks clean up a little bit and I'll be right back okay so now we're going to do the lips I did the outline lips here as you can see over there um, and now we're just going to do these lips so again just fill that image and then take your scraper remember the short end of the scraper hold your plate down and scrape in the opposite direction okay take your jelly stamper and over oh that is gorgeous just taking the excess off Look how gorgeous that is. Okay. Now we're just going to place it. And there we go. Don't know if I like that one. Hmm. Maybe I'll do it again. It's fine. No, actually, let me do it again. See, this is where if you're not satisfied with your um, pickup or you're not satisfied with your transfer, you can, you know, if you've got a gel polish top coat over it, it's not going to mess up um, your nail polish underneath. Whereas if you had just applied that to, you know, a nail polish, you would now be messing the whole thing up. So I'm just going to clean this up and then I'll redo this one. Okay, so I've done it better this time around. A lot more crisp. 
you need to put a lips down in the center and just rock it over so that it transfers in the lift. Okay, now we're going to do this image here, which is exactly the same image I did on this nail here. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to outline those beautiful lips with the angelic white. Okay, hold your plate, strip in the opposite direction. Jelly stamper, roll it over, check it out. Oh, beautiful. It's taking the excess off. I'm just using my fingernails there just because it's quick and easy. <laughs> Trick I found out very useful from Debbie. Okay, now I'm just out the way. And now I'm just going to line it up. And place. Ooh la la, beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, now I'm just going to do some little hearts around there, little red hearts. Um, I think I'm going to use the normal red, which is 062. I don't know the names of the polishes, sorry ladies. Um, I'm just going to use a normal red um, and yeah. Beautiful. Picks up beautifully every single time. Okay. Go. And maybe I'll do some smaller hearts. Again, you don't need to use a lot of pressure when scraping. Again, it's like a flip of the wrist kind of thing. And I'm going to just place that little heart. There. Hold it in place. Lift up. Okay, I'm just going to clean this now and I'll be right back. Okay, so ladies, that's the finished one over here. And what I did is I used, just to show you, I used the outline heart here and the outline heart here. Um, at the bottom and I use these two full hearts at the top okay and now on this one I'm going to be using the same image here but I'm going to be using the angelic white um, on the metallic red super easy and super beautiful and effective okay into the image. I'm just going to show you how I pick up one and then I'll do the rest off camera. Okay, scrape, jelly stamper again, very lightly, perfect pickup. Take the excess away and now we're going to lay it down. And we'll lay it down at an angle. There we go. Look how cute that is. Okay, I'm going to finish this up and then I'll be right back. Okay, ladies, so I'm going to show you um, the AS non wipe top coat. You're going to float the polish on so that you don't smudge your artwork. Okay? And also it helps to wait for your um, your polish to dry, you know, your image to dry. Um, 
thoroughly before you put a top coat on um, and just float the, the top coat over it so that you don't get any smudging okay so if you put enough top coat on your brush you can just sort of float it over don't press down you know like hard um, because that might cause smudging so I'm just going to top coat these with AS non-wipe top coat and then put them in the LED lamp for 30 seconds and then we'll be done okay so everything that you've seen in this tutorial ladies um, everything I've used you can order from me um, on Nikki's Delicious Gels on Facebook or on WhatsApp I will leave obviously in the um, in my details in a link um, where to contact me I'm based in South Africa um, I'm the clear jelly stamper um, supplier in South Africa um, so yeah you're more than welcome to contact me via my email or via WhatsApp or Facebook um, to place your orders for any of the CJS um, products that you've seen uh, viewing today. So just to go over while that cures um, what we've used in today's tutorial um, and what you'll need for this. And please, ladies, you know, go ahead, recreate it. Um, you know, I'd love to see um, your creation using this plate. Um, I used the double-ended bling for this tutorial. Um, just to show you, it's very easy to use this um, jelly stamper with the smaller plates. I find the big bling jelly stamper is a little bit too large for these plates. So, you know, when you go and scrape the polish and say it goes on to the next image, your, your clear jelly stamper is going to pick up that image as well. It just, you know, convenience sake, this one really works well. Um, for your smaller images, for your smaller plates. It picks up beautifully. It is a beautiful, I love these little beautiful bling blings. <laughs> um, and then you've got the really small one as well, which I haven't used yet. I will try it out as well. Um, but this one I used, you know, um, for this tutorial, which is it comes beautifully packaged as well. So that's basically your double-ended bling. Um, it's got a slightly bigger one at the top, a smaller one at the bottom. Um, it really picks up beautifully. Then we have the Lip Alicious and Love CJS VO2. Absolutely gorgeous plate. Really had so much fun playing with this today. Okay, and then we've got the Angelic White. Um, you get this in the seven piece metallic or Christmas um, stamping polish set um, 034 you can obviously also buy them individually um, this is from the 20 piece range and this is 062 it's red they all got names but I don't have the names right now this is also from the metallic seven piece range um, 063 and then your classic black which is 001 that I used for this tutorial okay and then of course the very famous and not least is the AS non white top coat which I used as well okay and there we go 100% beautiful look at that okay so this is the one that I first did changed up a little bit with this one and that's one I did now gorgeous I'm absolutely loving this absolutely loving it beautiful super cute fun plate to play with All right ladies so 
as I mentioned, everything here. This is the Lazy Nail Art Mat that I'm using at the moment. Absolutely love it. Um, it holds on to any surface. It's not going to slip and slide. If you get nail polish on it, you just take some nail polish remover or acetone, rub it off. It comes off beautifully, easy to clean, um, and super strong. Like with everything, Clear Jelly Stamper, it is pristine. Okay. Thank you for watching ladies and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos and um, you know I'd be interested to obviously hear from you what you would like to see next, what you would like me to review, if there are um, suppliers out there that would like me to review their product please contact me and I'll be happy to help out. Anyway ladies have a delicious day. Bye bye now.